Setting up uh, LED neon flex, you will need a heat gun, a caulking gun with a silicone adhesive sealant, some heat shrink, an oxidation guard, a sharp edge, a cutting tool, pliers, the flex itself, a power cord, an end cap, and a, a two-prong connector. Uh, when cutting the flex, take no a special note of the uh, cutting marks on the product and then just a multitude of cutting tools will actually accomplish this. Just like so. Apply the oxidation guard to the barbed end of the two-prong connector. Insert the barbed end of the two pin connector into the LED neon flex. This is where your pliers will come in handy. You'll notice that the power cord cap doesn't quite fit on the flex. That's why you need the heat gun. So once the cap has been uh, heated so that it's soft and malleable, just insert it onto the end of the flex. Ah, get a good seal. There we go. So once the cap is cooled, you actually want to take it off and apply the uh, oxygen guard onto the non-barbed end of the pins. So now fill the, uh, the cap with the silicone adhesive sealant. Be generous. So once you have the oxidation guard on the pins and the silicone adhesive sealant, the RTV, in the end cap, you can fit them together. You should have enough of the silicone product in there that some of it oozes out. Make sure you rub the, uh, the excess around to get a better seal. So next you can take your piece of heat shrink and just fit it over the length of the neon flex, just right over the end here, leaving a, a good amount of the heat shrink over the flex. And then you use the heat gun to shrink it.
On the termination end of the LED neon flex, apply the oxidation guard to the wire ends. So like the cap on the power cord, the end cap is not going to quite fit on, so it needs to be softened with the heat gun. Once it's flexible enough, it's still hot to the touch here, uh, you can fit it on to cool. and just let it cool like that. So once the end cap is cooled off, you can go ahead and fill that with the, uh, with the silicone. So once you have a good amount of silicone in there, and I mean a lot, you can fit it on, just like the power cord cap, and rub around any excess to get a good seal. So then you want to take the heat shrink, fit it over the end, and leaving a little bit hanging off, Shrink it. So once it's cool, you can trim off a bit of the excess. That's just for aesthetics. And then, you're ready to enjoy your fabulous LED Neon Flex product. And again, the, uh, the real key to weatherproofing is a lot of the silicone.